What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to our last player review of this V2.4. V2.4, sorry, lads, I'm getting confused. So these players, this is a player review, our last player review for the V2.4 players that they added. We are into the eFootball point shop now. A lot of people have been asking me about these three new players that they added to the shop. Um, and obviously the fact that people probably have a lot of eFootball points left to spend. So we do have three new ones. We've got Hazard, we've got Cuadrado, and we've got Shalaba. Um, I'm going to go through them. I'm going to give you a look at their stats. I'm going to give you a training guide for them. And I'm going to give you a couple of thoughts. I'm also going to give you a really, really top class um, alternative to uh, Hazard, who's going to be Diaz from AC Milan. Brahim Diaz, he's a really fantastic player. But we are going to start with Shalaba. And he's got a very good card, lads, right? The thing I look for in a player if he's going to be playing center back is interception or blocker, right? Blocker is not as important. Uh, well, it is. It's hugely important if you don't have, like you need one of your center backs to have blocker, but it's not as important to have it in both of your center backs or if you are playing a three at the back or five at the back, you don't need it in every single one of your defenders. You know what I mean? I think people sometimes get confused when I say that blocker and interception are mainstays in any of the center backs i get it just happens to be that most of the center backs that you do end up recommending or i do end up buying are going to have that by default now he doesn't have blocker but he does have interception he also has man marking so the biggest thing going for him is his speed his power and his actual height so if you are playing him as kind of like a back three you will be able to get this guy in and he'll be able to have that speed and he'll also be able to have the defensive capabilities when we train him up here. Look, it's a free player, obviously, so they are, aren't going to be the best players in the game. There's a lot of players that compare to Chalaba. I think if you're going to be spending, you know, even 100,000 GP, there's too many centre-backs to, to really kind of recommend. Like, you can buy any of the centre-backs that are there. Um, I don't like that he doesn't have unwavering form, but he does have really nice defensive stats with 75 speed and acceleration, 75 stamina. Stamina has kind of changed in V2.4. I'm not too sure if you guys have noticed it, but stamina is kind of depleting a lot quicker depending on how you play. And even if you don't run a lot, if you just play a lot of one-touch passing, it's still depleting fairly quick. So we have trained Shalaba up with the 19 levels, four into dribbling, just to get him a little bit more accuracy on the ball when he has it with his passes. Um, we don't need to worry too much about that. And then dexterity and low body strength, uh, we just get that one up each, three into dexterity and then one into that uh, lower body strength. And then aerial strength is going to be four points and then 12 into defending. Now, when you are obviously playing with a player like this, with the height that he is and the speed that he is, right? You can make a couple of, you can make, like, we literally could get away. Like, if you're just going to boot the ball, we could literally get away with that and just pump 13 into defensive capabilities. That way, we're going to get 91 tackling, 90 aggression, 87 defensive engagement, and 85 awareness. We're still going to have the physical contact. We're going to have the headers. We're going to have all that sort of stuff. As I said, there's so many center backs that I could recommend, um, you know, above him. Like, for example, just even off the top of my head, we have Kim min -Jay. He is a Napoli's centre back. He's got build up. He's only, you know, he's very cheap. He's under 50,000 GP. He's the same height, same similar kind of speed and acceleration. Um, he's got interception, very similar player, obviously. Um, he is on A form this week. So there is a lot of players that I don't really need to recommend that many players for him. Um, he is a good player, obviously, but if you are getting him for free, it's more kind of for newcomers to the game, I would say. Now, Quadrado is a bit of a, a bit of a kind of a, I will say a bit of unique card, a little bit more unique than Shalaba and Hazard. Hazard is very replaceable as well. But Quadrado, what I like about Quadrado is that he's a box-to-box -box right midfielder so that you can play him as a right back as well. He does have a uh, standard form, but he's got a lot of nice player skills, uh, interception there as well. So as an actual defender, right, you're going to have that interception skills. But if you play him up the pitch a little bit, you're going to have all the dribbling stats that you need. You don't need to focus too much on dribbling because of those dribbling stats, scissors faint and flip-flap and all those. He also has a uh, cut behind and turn, so that would be an addition to him there. His passing by default is really, really solid as well. So depending on how we want to play him, we can just turn him into a bit of a unit in midfield to track back. Now, hopefully I'll have my video on wingers versus right midfielders or left midfielders soon. Um, but that's how we've trained him up. And for a free player, 92 overall right midfielder is not bad at all, right? He's only got 25 levels to go, so he won't eat in a lot of your training points either, your training XP. Um, 85 speed, 90 acceleration, 80 stamina, 
and then the dribbling is 86 87 lofted pass he's got interception he's got a lot of really good player skills and I think he's probably the most he's probably the pick of him if I was picking one from the shop I would definitely pick because he is definitely one of the guys that I would I would look to if I was going to be picking a player um to kind of like buy with my 5,000 eFootball points and that leaves us with Hazard right so this is Hazard maxed out now on his actual card here Hazard is a one he's an inconsistent uh, form right which is a bit of a pity because I would like to seen him just get standard I know he hasn't played a lot of football in the last few years but his card is actually pretty beastly he handles very very well on the pitch um if you like playing with likes of Salad, the likes of Messi, the likes of those type players he is an extremely good player now what I like about Salah most of all or what I like about Hazard most of all is he has one touch pass through passing as a winger so if I was going to play him I'm going to play him as a as an AMF right firstly I will give you a build for him if you do end up getting Hazard this is the build I would use if you're looking for kind of prime Chelsea Hazard with the speed, the dribbling, and the just the kind of impact to come in either starting the game for the first half or first 60 minutes and then take him off because his stamina is quite low or else bring him on even though he doesn't have super sub. Just leave him on the bench and see how his form is. If it's upper, you know, if it's normal, you can just throw him on. 88 acceleration, 95 balance. It's going to be very hard to get the ball off him. Ball, ball control and dribbling are in the 90s as well. Now, if you're looking to bring him and play him through the middle a little bit, you can ease up a, a good bit, actually, on the offensive awareness and the dribbling and the acceleration. So you can just lock that at four. You can lock that at four as well because you don't need as much stamina. 71 stamina is going to be, obviously, a lot of a downgrade. But you can just boost up his passing a good bit there and then just pop one more into stamina if you want that. You're still going to get the acceleration, the ball control, but now you've got the passing as well to make him a little bit more of a methodical player. So... That is it for me, lads. We have a look at Brahim Diaz as well. He's a very similar player that to Hazard's first build where we have the pace, we have the dribbling, we have everything. If we want to kind of change him up a little bit, we can just ease up on the we can ease up on the pace of him, the acceleration of him. Obviously, Hazard is going to be 79 there and 83. This guy's 80 and 84. And we can just pop a few more into passing to bring him on, on par with passing, right? So even though Hazard has got 90 overall there. We've got Brahim Diaz as an 88 overall AMF, and he's probably a better option on the bench uh, to be able to bring on. He's got better form. So that is it for me, lads. Do I recommend these players? If you haven't got like the legends or you haven't got any of these players, I would say Ziak is, uh, is, is a good player to get as well. Lodi's a good player. Goya is a good player. There's some nice players there. But yeah, if you are going to be buying somebody, I would say Quadrado, Hazard, and Shalabad. They're very easy uh, alternatives out there for quite cheap. So that is it for me, lads. That is the last of the player reviews until Monday, where we have a look at Atletico Madrid. They are the upcoming agent for Monday. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you in a bit, lads. Peace.